Hey guys, how's it going? Here's your quick guide to all the GDI missions in Command & Conquer Tiberium Dawn. For mission number one, it's super easy. Send a few troops to the left to take out the turrets, send the rest up to attack any infantry hiding in the trees. That's all you gotta do. Mission number two, same map as before, but you're gonna have to rebuild your base so that you can get building infantry again, move up, destroy their base. That's it. All right, mission number three, you're gonna build your base up here next to the Tiberian field and defend this ramp so that you channel their forces just straight into your defense. If you take out the SAM sites to the right and the one just up on the cliff, you will get some air support when you assault this base. Grenadiers are gonna be the most useful here. For mission number four, I recommend you take the left route when you're looking at the world map. Once you are on this map, get your infantry ahead of your vehicles and take them up to this point. You are then going to take your vehicles along this path and you are going to keep them moving straight up into the enemy base. One of your APCs should have enough health left to get to the crate, and once you reach that crate, you'd complete the mission. All right, mission number five, keep your tanks alive until you can reach your base. That is your main goal. You're going to be moving left, taking out forces along your way, crossing this bridge and moving up north until you can get to the south side of your base. You're going to defend it from this position while you keep cranking out more units so that you can eventually attack their base. Your best bet here is to get up a sizable force to take out their two turrets. Once those turrets have been taken down, get an APC with engineers into the base, take out their construction yard and anything else nearby. Then it should be an easy run for the rest of this mission. Mission number six, all right, you're gonna take your commando, cross the bridge and take out the two SAM sites here. Make sure to kill any infantry as fast as you can just to make sure your commando doesn't take any damage. Once those SAM sites are gone, you're gonna get a helicopter that was going to take you over this river. Once you are on the other side, take your commando south and west along this cliff until he cannot go any further, has to kill a few infantry and take out another SAM site. You can then use your helicopter to take him north from that cliff edge and get him up and behind kind of where the, the main pass to the enemy base is. Once you've got him in that position, just make sure that you don't run into any enemy buggy patrols. Get him into the base. And there's a secret here. If you take out any building, you will have to do another mission unless you take out the airstrip. If you take out the airstrip, you will immediately move to a different mission. Otherwise, you will have to redo this map and build a base. The next mission guide is for if you have to build that base. Hey guys, this one's pretty tough. If you didn't take out the airstrip in the previous mission, this is the map you get. You're going to want to prioritize attacking enemies with units that are good against them at the start until you get your MCV. You then want to move your MCV up to here and build your base at this entrance. That will allow you to have an easier time defending your harvester, especially putting guard towers on your southern side. Once you can attack the enemy base, try to capture their barracks and place a guard tower. If you can defend that long enough and destroy their con the construction yard, the enemy will be too weak to keep fighting for long and you'll be able to complete the mission. Hey guys, mission number eight. This is the left option on the world map. Bring your vehicles into the base, repair your power, defenses, and rocket artillery. Post those artillery up along the cliff to take out enemies that are coming in. At the same time, you're going to want to generate some engineers, load up some APCs with at least five of those. There's also a crash cash crate directly to the west across the river. Make sure you pick that up. You're going to really need that money. Now send an en uh, Humvee with the engineer APCs past the enemy defenses and get at least one APC behind their construction yard. Once you can get that APC back there and capture that construction yard, see if you can't capture other buildings in the area, sell them off, just try to cripple them any way you can. Once you've done that, you'll be able to take out their production buildings, buildings and overwhelm the rest of the base. All right, mission number nine, build your base immediately and use your infantry to take out the turrets on the south side of the river. You'll get a helicopter to bring those north later. Watch out for your grenadiers getting killed by those turrets. If they explode, they could possibly kill your other infantry, so you're going to want to keep them separate to while you take out those turrets. Once you're at back at your base, you can start to use some sandbags to keep your enemies away from your buildings. You can also funnel them down so that you can have some defensive structures in one location so that all of those kind of grind up any enemies that come into your base. You're going to want to also use your infantry to take out the two turrets on the north side of the river. Um, after that, just keep building medium tanks while your harvesters collect, and you'll need about 10 to get into the enemy base and take out their construction yard. But once you do that, same as the previous missions, just take out everything else and you're done. Mission number 10, this is the left route on the world map. This one's great. Build a refinery close to the Tiberium and get some guard towers up for defense. Then you can build three orcas and scout for turrets while you're revealing the map in this area. Use your orcas to clear tanks that are approaching your base and the turrets on the cliff. Once you have about 10 tanks ready and a few engineers and APC, go around the enemy base on its north side and attack through their east side wall. The engineers can do some fast damage there. 
Take out their power to neutralize the obelisk. Take out the rest of their structures with engineers or tanks. Mission number 11, you're going to want to move up this pass and build a base near this Tiberium field. Watch out for rocket troops attacking your harvester right here. Use sandbags to seal off your base so that they can't get any units in from the north and have to be funneled down to the south. This way you can start to defend your base in this area while you build up tanks, and you can use orca orcas to harass enemy units and harvesters, especially the harvesters. That's an important piece. You can keep killing those until they can't produce units anymore, while you also at the same time are building up your attack force. Once you have a few tanks and an APC with some rocket troops, you can use those tanks to attack the entrance to that base and send your APC through to the far side. Once there, deploy your troops, use the rocket troopers to blast a hole in the wall, send your APC through to reach Delphi, board them on the helicopter, and you're done. This is your left route on the world map for mission number 12. Get some engineers in your APC and use your tanks to defend the base and then take out the two closest SAM sites. You can attack the other two SAM sites by blowing holes on the wall of the north side of your base and attacking at long range with either the Mammoth or a medium tank. Send your units west and cross this bridge. At the next bridge, attack their harvester, and once the enemy units have come out of the base, send your APC up to capture their construction yard and try and take out their airstrip. Once you're done with that, you can retreat and defend your base. You can have, then have a small force of probably just a tank, a Mammoth, and a few infantry to attack any SAM sites you have not yet destroyed. All right, mission number 13. This one's actually easier than it seems. You're going to want to move your base over between these Tiberium fields for quick harvesting, and you're going to want to defend that area until you can get one Orca and an Ion Cannon built. You're then going to send ground units all the way to the east and all the way up to this cliff. Once you can see that cliff, send your Orca out to the east, send him north, and start landing inside this base, hopping to the left to slowly reveal more terrain. Once you can see your main target, hit it with the Ion Cannon, and you're done. Mission number 14, you're going to want to take your two medium tanks and your mammoth tank and cross the path to the, the north of your starting position. Move your mammoth to the east to take out these three artillery pieces and move your two medium tanks north to take out these two artillery here. Once you've done that, move all of your forces back together, cross this main bridge and take them to the center point of the map. Hold that position and be sure to prioritize targets for all of your units to try and save as many of them as you can. Your force will take a significant amount of damage here. Once the attack has subsided on your forces, you're going to want to take them to the right and to the north. More stealth tanks will be hidden in this area, but as long as you keep your remaining units together, you should be able to defeat them. Last mission, guys. This is number 15, and this is the one where you finally get to destroy the Temple of Nod. I strongly recommend when you are on the world map that you take the middle route. It is easier to protect your harvesters while you are building mammoth tanks on this map. You can build orcas, take out the turrets and the SAM site here, and have all of these resources for yourself while you are building up to take out enemy bases. My suggestion is you build up a large force of mammoth tanks and move left to attack and capture as much of this base as you can. It's important that you capture it, otherwise they will rebuild it. Also, their turrets along this river will keep getting rebuilt, so I strongly recommend you put a unit over this position so that they cannot keep rebuilding it. Once you have taken out that base, this will become a war of attrition. You want to build as many mammoth tanks as you can so that you can take out the lower base in one movement. If you take too long and you end up having to attack it more than once, you're going to end up spending over an hour on this mission. Good luck.